Hi, my name is Jake, and now we will make this effect. Your phone's charged. Your phone's charged. The hell? But first, I want to tell you about this cool extension, which allows you to make physics simulations inside of After Effects. It's simple and easy to use. But also, I have one free coupon code, which gives you this plugin for free. So if you want to have a chance to win it, just leave a like and comment on this video. And you also need to be subscribed to this channel. I'll randomly pick one winner using Randomizer next Saturday. But if you want to use it right now, there is a link in the description below. And now, let's get started. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you'll find in the description below. Let's drag and drop this footage on this icon here to create new composition. Let's also go to Layer, New, Solid. Let's call it Lightning and click OK. Then press T on keyboard to see our opacity and let's set it to zero so we could see our background. So let's find moment in time where impact will happen and cut this layer to this moment. Then choose this pen tool right here and draw a line between our finger and the phone. Then open this mask, set a keyframe and skip few frames. Press V on keyboard to select selection tool and move these points accordingly to the phone and to the finger like this. Then again skip few frames and repeat these steps. And at the moment where phone is being dropped, you need to cut this layer to this moment. Make sure that your mask is following the finger and the phone. And now we can press T on keyboard to see our opacity and set to 100. Here in effects and presets, let's find Saber effect. This plugin is free and the link to it will be in the description below. Just drag and drop on our layer, go to customize core and set core type to layer masks. Let's also transfer mode set to screen. Glow intensity let's set it 30, glow spread to 0.2 and core size to 2. Now let's animate our start size and end size. Just go to the beginning of the layer, set a keyframes to start size and end size, end size let's set it to 0 and start size let's set it to 2. Let's disable mask to see our effect better, skip few frames and change start size to 200 and end size set it to 100. Skip few frames and start size let's set it to 100. So now we have this animation of lighting appearing in the screen. Let's also apply turbulence displays. Just drag and drop on our layer. Amount let's set it to 70 and size set it to 13. Let's also animate the evolution. At the beginning of layer let's set it to 0 and click to create a keyframe. And at the end of the layer let's set it to 5 spins. So now we have this kind of animation. Let's apply another turbulence displays. Amount let's set it to 50 and size to 5. It will add additional displays. Now select our lightning layer and go to edit duplicate. And let's apply tint effect. Just drag and drop on our lightning effect which is above. And tint effect drag down below. First color let's set it to cyan. And second color to orangish yellowish color. Let's also apply emboss effect. Just type in emboss and drag and drop on our layer. Direction let's set it to 90. Here set it to 0.7 and contrast to 70. Let's also apply fast blur effect. Just drag and drop here. And blurriness let's set it to 3. And now we can change transfer mode and set it to hard light. So just now we've added chromatic aberrations. To see the difference better we can change here to 1 or 2 or even 3. It's settled change. But in trailer I've seen they use it. So this is why we have also chromatic aberration. Okay it looks good. Let's go to layer new solid and let's add some hotspot. Let's name it hotspot and click OK. Let's add some flare. Just drag and drop on our layer. Flare brightness let's set it to 25. And lens type let's set it to 105 millimeter. Let's also apply fill effect. We will drag it above and set to black to see our flare. And flare center let's set it to 960 and 540. So it will be right in the center. Let's also apply fast blur effect. Blurriness let's set it to 56 and also let's apply curves effect. Just make this curve and in blue channel let's add some blue. Transfer mode let's set it to add and move over to our finger. Then press P on keyboard and create a keyframe. Skip few frames and with arrow keys you can follow your finger. And just keep following your finger and cut layer just about here. We can also animate our opacity. So press T on keyboard to see it. Here at the beginning let's set a keyframe and right at the beginning let's set it to 0. Also by the end let's set it to 100 and at the end also 0. So we have this appearing animation. 
Same thing you can do with the phone at the contact point. Just delete all the position keyframes and follow the phone. I will not do this so we would not lose any time. So after you will do this, go to project panel, drag Sparks video into our composition. You can find similar Sparks also on YouTube. Just type in Sparks footage. These Sparks will be able to download in the description below. Set it to add and just move to our phone just about here and let's add some secondary spark just select our layer go to edit duplicate and move it here above the ground you can also right mouse click on this layer and go to transform flip horizontal so it would look a bit different let's drag our footage composition on this icon here to create new composition let's apply a curse effect just drag and drop on this footage in red channel let's add some red in green channel a bit of green and in blue channel make this curve Let's apply another curve. In RGB, make a curve like this to add some contrast. And let's see the result. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.